spirituality is the science of the inner and science is the manifestation of spirituality outside so which then means these are not two different things they are deeply connected there is a beautiful hindi word called pramana english translation is proof science's basis is proof so is the basis of spirituality spirituality is not a belief system spirituality also thrives on the proof theoretical physicist albert einstein i want to open this session today with that statement which einstein made and he said no problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it let me repeat he says no problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it in the first place then it means that we need to upgrade our consciousness take it to a higher level to be able to solve a problem which got created by the lower level of consciousness so we need to all upgrade our consciousness now einstein is a scientist and he is using the word consciousness as not information i think that's a very interesting point i felt here he is saying that by access of information you will not be able to solve the problem but by evolving the consciousness upgrading the consciousness something can be done so he is talking about something phenomenal something much more bigger here you know even being a scientist so that comes to the through the second element of this that which then also means that we need to look at science and spirituality in a very different light if i if i if i talk on that a bit you know science okay let's from start from spirituality is the science of the inner and science is the manifestation of spirituality outside you see let me repeat spirituality is the science of the inner and science is the manifestation of spirituality outside so which then means these are not two different things they are deeply connected there is a beautiful hindi word called pramana english translation is proof science's basis is proof so is the basis of spirituality spirituality is not a belief system spirituality also thrives on the proof in the case of science the proof is outward which means through the five sense through the five senses i can look at feel touch the proof the proof of spirituality is an inner experience which is beyond the five sense perception though you use the five sense perception to perceive it but the experience is very different experience happens at a very interior level Let, let's take a quick example of let's say something like love or compassion you know i can't dissect myself from a scientific perspective to pinpoint okay where where is love i can't find it yeah or where is prayerfulness i can't find it yeah but it's a deep feeling that we all feel experience yeah so it is something of the inner and situations like these tell us that probably we've gone too far and are only relying on the scientific laws maybe we are forgetting the laws of spirituality as i said they are both interconnected maybe it's time when we need to look at it very carefully let me give you another example you know when i was a child i was growing up in india whenever you know you would have a sore throat or something your parents would take you to the doctors doctor will say hey you have tonsils they're swollen okay what needs to be done take tonsils out because they have no function in human body that was the science at that time left right and center they were operating people to take tonsils out well in nature nothing is created without any reason nature is supremely intelligent nature is the epitome of consciousness if it is created something there must be a reason purpose of it bingo we found out later in fact recently that your tonsils are the first level of defense in human system when i when i eat something when a virus or some or a bacteria goes in my mouth or through my nasal pathway tonsils are the first level of defense they attack the virus or a bacteria or an external infection there and then to stop it to get into the system something similar happened with appendix 
the science at that time thought appendix is of no use you have a pain remove it well again nature does not create anything as a waste as a unnecessity if it is created something there must be a reason let's look at it science started looking at that and science said oh all the gut bacteria which are important for our our well being our digestion appendix is a storehouse of that it's a backup so if somebody's got a bad stomach or has taken a bag uh, bug and the entire system is flushing it out uh, through diarrhea our entire gut microbes the gut good bacteria is washed out of the system how does body build that again bingo you go to the um, appendix and those those good gut bacteria which are stored as a backup in the in the appendix they start to come in the gut start to multiply human body becomes well again yeah science dissects everything to know the reality or try to know the reality spirituality encompasses everything to know the nature of reality both are trying to know the or find out the nature of reality paths are very different one path is dissect 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 divide 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 cut 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 the other path is unite as asha ji said um, that it's about oneness it's about connectivity it's about it's about this thread spirituality talks about that it looks at the whole thing from that angle you know let me give you a very quick example few years ago i mean almost over a decade and a half ago when i first moved to the himalayas here i was very fascinated with the nature plants i went to an area which is famous for apple orchards to increase the production they were spraying on the apple fruits left right and center in just a year they found out now there are no bees all bees are dead they had to import bees from other areas whenever there was a flowering season on the apple they killed the bees because they thought to protect the pest attack let's spray they didn't look at the whole bigger picture the bigger picture was when you kill the pest the bee also gets killed the bee gets killed there is nothing happening then yeah the entire process shuts down you can't grow food if there is no bee yeah so one looks at in a very exclusive manner science spirituality looks at everything in a very inclusive manner that's that's one of the key difference mm-hmm.